A question that we often get asked about vision therapy is, what do the vision therapy activities look like? What would be an example of something that you might do? So today I'm going to show you the Brock string and it is a very common activity in vision therapy and can be used for many different purposes. I'm going to show you just the very basics today and keep in mind that for different people we might do it in slightly different ways. The, one of the concepts about vision therapy is you want to give feedback to the patient so the patient can tell whether or not their eyes are doing the, the things correctly. So the, the Brock string is an excellent activity for that because the patient is able to tell whether or not they're doing it right. So this is how it works. You have a string with beads on it and they're going to be spaced out depending on what you're trying to accomplish for the patient but fairly equally. So let's put, normally you're going to start with this straight ahead of you. So you would look and what happens with this is that the first thing we ask the patient to do is just look in different distances. So you can see when I look at the close bead, my eyes are doing something a little different than when I look at one of the farther away beads. And I can look at each different bead. And my eyes have to cross in when I look close, and then they move farther apart when I look farther away. So a very cool thing about this activity is that when you look at the beads, uh, the, because you have two eyes, you see two strings. And the two strings should look equal to each other, and the two strings should cross exactly where your eyes, well, they will cross exactly where your eyes are pointing. So if I'm looking at the green bead, then I should see two strings going into the bead and two strings going out behind the bead, and they should meet exactly at the bead. For some people, the strings meet closer or farther away than the bead. Even though they think they're looking at the bead, they in fact aren't actually looking exactly in the right place. So because the string gives them feedback, they can move their eyes and look a little closer or a little bit farther to make the string meet exactly where it should. And then the goal would be that eventually, after they practice this more, that their eyes will start looking exactly in the right spot without them having to try to change where it's looking.